Hey everybody, good morning. It's Ben with uh, Broad Shoulders Farm. It's uh, Wednesday, April 30th. Yeah, it's the last day of the month. And um, we had a crazy rain and wind last night. And uh, things are messy, but uh, things are actually really good. Um, we're at kind of an exciting stage, so I, uh, I'm gonna talk about the mess for a little bit, give you a little update, and then, um, and then I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, let me flip the camera around. So, I'm gonna start in here in the Bantam Run um, and with the brooders. So, uh, a friend of the farm, Shannon, and I worked uh, all day yesterday, and the Bantam Run is almost completely fenced in. Uh, goes all the way around to the back. Obviously, I've got to do some stiffening and such to get the walls more rigid, make everything um, more stable, but it is essentially closed in. There's a little gap back here that I need to frame in and then uh, put board on there. This whole area back here is going to be the, um, the new ICU, replacing just the three little apartments we have up there that uh, just not the best situation. So we're going to have them in here so they'll be much more protected. I'm going to put a roof over it. Um, it'll be right next to the brooder. Uh, the brooder is doing great. There's chicks in there. Everybody is happy and healthy and running around. Uh, we have a few... Um, that are older chicks that are slower to feather out. And I haven't wanted to bring them out just yet, but they're probably gonna go out first thing next week, giving them a little extra time to bake. Um, we've got to, uh, there's another panel here that I've got to close up. Uh, I'm not gonna use wire, I'm gonna use uh, OSB board uh, like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, like it's, it's a huge mess in here right now. Um, but for me, like it's really exciting because I pretty much know where all these things go. Um, and I can start putting them away and getting things organized today. The rain has let up, and I think we're done with rain for today, but it was a really good deep soak last night. Um, and uh, I've already replaced the bedding for the littles. They, um, they did get wet last night, but everybody seems pretty happy. They love the fresh uh, pine shavings. Same thing with uh, these dudes and dudettes over here. Um, the trees that I had yet to plant uh, all got soaked in the rain last night, which is what I was hoping for. Um, everybody got... <laughs> Uh, juvenile black copper moran versus uh, probably a two-year-old uh, Americana rooster. So Animal will uh, set this little guy straight. But um, everybody got fresh eggs with uh, herbs this morning. They got garlic and oregano um, drizzled over their feed. So that made everybody super duper happy. Um, I'll be taking apart the old brooder, not today, but eventually I'll probably strip it for parts to make the new ICU. Um, the uh, Bantams, who have been in their uh, little decompression chamber while everybody gets to know everybody. I opened that door this morning so everybody can run around and get to meet each other more. They're still a little scared, which is totally normal. Um, but they'll start integrating. Dave is in there, way in the back. A couple folks on Facebook had asked about Dave, wondering if she had passed. Dave is doing great. She is just as small as ever. Um, these guys are still enjoying their uh, breakfast uh, with the uh, egg mixture drizzled over it. Um, so anyhow, uh, I am super ready. I, I think they're going to be so happy to be out of here during the day. Um, I know I will be much happier um, to just be able to throw this door open every morning. I'll start feeding them out here. Um, I can work on fixing up their roosts in there. And, um, but this will be where the bantams go at night, but during the day, they'll be able to run around here. And uh, I've got so many plantings, uh, either planned or uh, already getting ready for them. That hole is not something that was dug by anything. That's where I needed to move this, uh, uh, my favorite uh, little dwarf hazelnut, because uh, that was the wrong place for it. So anyhow, I'll come in and backfill that hole. And the whole thing, uh, Evan and I already got that side, but we're going to come back and we're going to do the whole rest of the perimeter with a uh, half inch uh, welded wire or half inch uh, this uh, hardware cloth um, flange around the whole thing to prevent anything from digging in and under. Um, but they've already, there's a Nanking bush cherry in the back corner. There's a, a black currant. There's a red currant. There's the dwarf hazelnut. I've got a white currant to go there. Uh, I've got a couple varieties of grape. 
Um, another blueberry to go there. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but um, this is going to be loaded with plants. I've got two small blueberries started there. They're nestled amongst the mint right now. Um, I tried to get some strawberries started, but um, I bought the like super dry plugs you get from Tractor Supply. This is like the second, third year in a row that I've used them, and they just they never do anything. Um, if you're buying plants from Tractor Supply, unless you see leaves on them, my advice is don't buy them. Um, it's a, it's just a waste of money. But um, yeah, I've got grapes. I've got a hardy kiwi that I'm going to put in here so that they will have lots and lots of stuff. I'll come in and sow grass and clover in here. Uh, I'm going to plant some amaranth for them. I'll cover it all up with straw. Um, but uh, anyhow, I'm, uh, I'm super excited about this. Obviously, there's some cleaning to be done today. But... Um, in general, this is good, good, good. Um, here's an update that I didn't post any pictures about yesterday. Uh, Shannon went to uh, do the midday feed and water change for the flocks yesterday. And she said, hey, all the roosters in that one pen are out. And I said, what? And Java, Java the Hut, you can see his comb is a little abused, was out and hiding in the honeysuckle patch. And uh, Robert was out and the only rooster still in the run was Ajax. And I was like, well, that's weird. I didn't know what had happened. Maybe they gotten scared and I didn't know what the heck uh, hit Java. So I put everybody back in the run and I watched and Ajax has unseated Java as top cock in that group, uh, which is heartbreaking. Um, Ajax is a, a beautiful um, whiting true blue rooster. He's enormous. Flops here is a whiting. I'd say Ajax is about twice as big as uh, Flops. Uh, and Ajax has a much different um, color pattern. He really looks uh, magnificent. He's a beautiful uh, cock, and that's why I've got him in there. But he is not supposed to be in charge over there. So Java stayed. Um, he was undercover. I'm actually moving him around today and reset him up with fresh straw and all, or fresh pine shavings. But Java is actually going to go back in there today. I'm going to take Ajax out and isolate Ajax for uh, a week or so so that Java can regain his uh, status as the guy in charge in that flock. But um, it was really heartbreaking because Java's been in charge of that flock for, you know, two, two and a half years. Um, so anyhow, we're going to um, see if we can reestablish the order that we want in there because Java is such a good boy. He, um, he's protected Elise and I from other roosters when we go into the run. He's not uh, overly aggressive with the ladies. It's honestly only recently that he's allowed us to kind of pick him up. And Elise and I are a little concerned that, you know, maybe we've tamed or befriended him too much and that's how he lost his position because Ajax is not interested uh, in us at all. So anyhow, um, exciting stuff going on here with the Bantam Run. Uh, out here, of course, the wind. <laughs> we started repairing the roof on the duck house and the wind last night completely blew a rafter off. Um, so that'll be a fun project coming up. Uh, but we are working really, really hard, <clears throat> and this was a big part of it. The wind upset all my uh, uh, mint plants, but um, working really, really hard to get all of the birds out of the garden area. Um, tomorrow, uh, fingers crossed, uh, you know, God willing, uh, is going to be tomato planting day, and that whole back plot back there uh, is where we're putting in, we've got... Uh, 36 different varieties of tomato that I have um, paid a local nursery to go ahead and get the starts going and they're ready to come out. So we're going to be planting uh, probably 120, 150, at least three or four of each variety out there. And tomorrow, uh, friends of the farm, Evan and Shannon are coming back and we're going to set up the trellises and get all that ready. So it's really important that we get these birds out, out, out of here. So. This fence that Evan and Shannon put up uh, uh, last week was a big start in keeping the waterfowl out here. They can no longer go in and out of that. Um, I'm working on gates today. Yesterday I framed up uh, the gate here and I sank the uh, uh, treated lumber uh, post for the corner post for it. But um, we got all that done. I've got to do the same thing down on the other end. But by the end of the day today, or certainly first thing Friday, the ducks and the geese will no longer be able to come out and just wander around out here. They'll have to stay in here during the day or they can go out. I always leave that gate open for them, but they will no longer be ranging inside here. They're gonna be ranging out where they need to be ranging anyhow. 
So, <clears throat> that's exciting. These are the ICU pins that I'm gonna take apart, um, strip for parts, and we're gonna be rebuilding a bigger, better, safer ICU. Well, this one's pretty rock solid safe, but um, more convenient um, ICU up there. So, big, big mess. Um, I, I'm sure to the casual observer, it looks um, terrible. Um, I never really wanted to be a, a farmer who had uh, a gigantic mess. Um, I'd visited enough farms and I was like, man, when I farm, I'm going to keep things super clean and I'll be very organized. Yeah, uh, I take it back to uh, any other farmer that I thought things were a little disorganized. Um, I have a lot to learn and a lot to get in order. But, okay. Uh, oh, and um, Skosh is staying with her ducklings way more. Now I say that and there's like one over here and I know I saw a couple over there. Uh, if you remember, she hatched 12 out of 13. Uh, one died pretty much uh, two days later. Don't know what happened to it. Never saw any marks on it. Um, so don't really know what the deal is with it. But she lost two two days ago. Um, that night, she came back with everybody. She's been really great lately. She's been gathering them all under her skirt at the end of the night. And I no longer have to chase them all over creation. And she just kind of sits with them. She was sitting over there um, one night. And so I had to bring the their overnight crate over to them and put them all in, which is a little inconvenient. But since then, she's been waiting right there in the corner of their little hoop house every night. And I just, boop, lift them up one by one, kiss them on the head, tell them to have a good night. And then in the morning, boop, out they come, do the same thing, kiss them on the head, tell them to have a great day. Um, but since she lost those two the other day, and I have no idea what happened, it was a day that I had to be gone for like five hours running errands from the farm. Um, I don't know if a hawk got them. I don't know. If, I don't know what, you know, that night I went looking around for them, listening for peeps. Usually if they're separated, they peep a heck of a lot. Um, nothing, uh, anywhere on the farm as far as I could tell. So, um, she's down to nine, but since then she is much more interested in them. I think maybe she was like, oh crap, I, I kind of need to take care of these things. So, um, fingers crossed that we won't lose any more. Um, nine out of 13 and only 12 hatch. That's, you know, what is that, 25%? But uh, that's pretty good. Hey, Bart. How are you doing, sweet boy? Um, all right, so I've got to keep doing errands, keep uh, cleaning up and getting organized. But I, uh, I just want to do a quick update on everything that's going on. And we're in an exciting time because as soon as I can get the birds out of the garden, I can plant the garden, which will be huge because we need vegetable income <laughs> the birds are expensive um as, which you know one of the reasons why i'm planting so many perennials everywhere and i have uh, new perennials arriving tomorrow some more trees to go in the ground um some pretty exciting stuff but i gotta get them out so i can get the garden going um i have so many fantastic plants to plant i'm really excited about it so uh glad you're here uh questions comments helpful uh concerns anything like that always welcome in the comments uh, we're pretty active on facebook and instagram so uh i hope you are having a great day please continue to stay safe um please please continue to uh uh to social distance and um you know i understand a lot of folks are struggling but um as the husband of a icu nurse uh, who has dealt with a lot of covid patients um, please do everything you can to help flatten the curve. Um, it, uh, it really makes, uh, makes a difference in a lot of people's lives. Um, okay, I got to get back to work. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.